um, <laughs> uh, I think, look, at the depths to which this government is prepared to sink in terms of its bootlicking, its doffing the cap, is really almost par unparalleled at this stage. I mean, bad enough that you wouldn't agree to support a debt conference, but it really beats all that she would boycott the ad hoc Committee on Sovereign Debt Restructuring agreed by the United Nations General Assembly last September, of which Ireland was one of only 11 countries which voted against it. Uh, normally, you're very happy to hide behind the fig leaf of the United Nations in facilitating the US military use of Shannon and other vehicles, but this time round, what was being proposed was a debt restructuring uh, committee which would look at negotiating fair and transparent procedures for the cancellation and restructuring of debts uh, of countries in crisis like Ireland, Greece and so on. How could anybody possibly vote and not participate in something like that? It's kind of a, like voting against uh, apple pie or something like that. And I really think what Deputy Murphy has done here with today's motion is posed very starkly to this government and probably Labour in particular, which side are you on boys? And by your refusal to go along with this motion, you've clearly said that you have gone against the best wishes of the majority of Irish citizens, which when they agreed to sign up to the European project, it was one of solidarity with their neighbours, across boundaries, our common interests, and not a future that shackled us to the debts and to be in subservience to bankers and bondholders and uh, the like. And, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there in society really asking what is wrong with you? Like, really, what is wrong with you? There is no uh, other answer other than participating in this process and standing shoulder to shoulder with the people of Greece, with Spain and with our neighbours across boundaries.